What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a makeup video but it's going to be kind of themed around zodiac signs. I've seen this video floating around for a while now. I think the person that I can remember for sure doing it is Mia Maples. She's awesome by the way if you don't follow her already you should but basically you look at these charts that have makeup ideas, hair ideas, clothes ideas, whatever you want and then you pick the zodiac sign that matches you and then just do whatever that says. So I am going to be doing everything based around the Cancer Zodiac sign since that's what mine is. So I think we should just jump in and get started. Okay, so I got you zoomed in a bit more. I'm going to show you the chart first and then I will do what it says. So this is what the chart is looking like. So as you can see over here, Cancer, I'll zoom in on that one. So it looks like a lot of blue going on. There you go. It's a lot of blue going on, but I think it's going to be pretty. I mean, it is a water sign, so I kind of expected that. So there's the eye, and then for the lip, it's honestly very similar. And here's the whole chart again. A little blurry. And as you can see at the bottom, that blue lip is Cancer. So I'm going to be going for a very blue monochromatic look today. And then my hair looks disgusting right now because I will be throwing out a wig because luckily for the hairstyles, you can see right over here, the Cancer one is that light pink color and I happen to have a wig that color. So I'm just gonna kind of go with it. I'll also link below my wig video that I got all of these wigs from, which is where I got this pink one. And yeah, so other than that, I think we should just jump in because I think it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to start with the blue eye and have to kind of look at it. So it looks like it's kind of a lighter blue and then a deeper blue in the crease, which I don't really have a lot of blues. So I'm just going to have to kind of make it work the best I can. Okay, so I'm going to go all over the lid with this shade. Pretty blue. Okay, and it looks like it's brought up pretty high, but I'm gonna do the under the brow area first because there's this like frosty color under the neath. So I'm gonna use this like highlighter frosty thing that I have that kind of has a blue undertone. Kind of hard to see on camera, but. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and kind of connect those two spots. And then I have this blue shade that's a little bit deeper, but it's not much, so I don't know if this is going to do too much, but I'm going to still try anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to use this eyeshadow stick to do the underneath and then inner corner. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of a glitter to the inner corner over that blue. Okay, and then it looks like there's lashes and liner just on the bottom, so that's what I'm going to do next off camera, and then I'll be back so we can do lips and then throw on a wig. Okay, as you can see, I have my lashes on, and I just went ahead and threw the wig on before the lips just because why not? So this is the finished eye look. I think it looks really cute, honestly. I mean, it's very blue and this wig is very pink. So there's a lot of colors going on, but it's always fun to kind of do these little challenges because then you start creating looks that you might not normally do. So I'm gonna do the lips now and then we'll be finished. But the lips, I don't have the exact colors. So I'm just gonna have to kind of improvise a little bit. I don't have something that is that light blue. So I have this shade that's kind of like a periwinkle color and then I'm going to go over it with this and we'll see how that goes. So that is the plan. Let me just speed through this part because this liquid lipstick always takes forever. Okay, I'm going to let that dry just a little bit and then I might actually use that shadow stick and kind of make it a little bluer since this is kind of purpley and the color just to remind you is that blue shade at the bottom which obviously this is like not quite right that helped 
to make it a little bluer. Maybe I should put a little bit of the shadow on my lip. Yeah, that kind of helped. And then I'm going to put this like iridescent like bluey green shimmer gloss over it. Okay, that helped a lot. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. I mean, you can see it now, but just to get a better picture and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so you're all zoomed out. I mean, not that far, but I just wanted to kind of let you see the whole cohesive thing together. I have a blue finger now too because that shadow stains. So and this will probably not come off very easily, but this blue makes your teeth look really yellow. So that I would not recommend, but overall, I think this turned out pretty cute. So I definitely think you guys should try this challenge as well and then tag me on some stuff on Instagram if you end up doing this because this was super fun and pretty easy. So I think I might do something like this in the future moving forward. Maybe I can do just another astrological sign just to kind of see what a different look would look like if I tried someone else's. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.